Here we go. Game one, Argonauts for the Divinity Round 3 on Hidden City. Um, Argonauts have been playing quite well so far. They're the French team versus Divinity, the Turkish team. Um, and we'll have to see what's going to happen here. Divinity is still looking for the win. Where Argonauts have already been able to get two ties for two points. Divinity still without any game win. So definitely want to pick up one here. Uh, again, we can see a lot of blue units being switched out. So let's take a look at the hero classes first. Um, on the attack, Argonautas, we see plenty of short forts, just like we saw on looking for team side in the game before. Then a few poloxes, musket, and two dual blades and a pike. And on the Divinity side, we see a few more malls, a lot of short forts just as well. Two glaives, two nodachis, a musket, and a dual blade. What about the units? Yo, X Raiders, I haven't seen those in a while on the attack. Oh, yeah, oh, interesting. No. Oh, Alsops as well. Yeah. Alsops indeed as well. Nice to see those. And again, the stand up Madao, two, I believe. No, one unit of Flamers. And of course, the Grey Bunch to push towers. Yeah, oh, quite so. Indeed. A few, definitely a few, a lot more Flamers on the Divinity side. We see four yeah. Flamers on Divinity. And one, even one, one two Terracios, three Terracios. Where's that? Oh no, that is Shenji actually. So, way on. very, what very different setup here. Actually? Yeah. So a lot more ranged on the defense, uh, a lot more heavy on the infantry, but two Zakalian on the attack compared to no Zakalian on the defense. All right, game starting. Let's see game what this started. match will bring. Sure will. Um, it does look like uh, Argonaut is starting out with uh, full, 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 and uh, I mean absolutely full rustic mode, except for one unit of Prefecture Guard or uh, Palace Guard. It has to be a misclick. <laughs> I wonder uh, what happened here, uh, or maybe they are expecting this sally out and they just want to like, like get on the walls, close the gates, kind of like Trike tried to do. Uh, what's the seat? We will have to see. All right, here it is. Hidden City. All right, both teams, no runes, we're good to go. And Wonderful. here it is, this beautiful map. Let's go. All right, both teams getting ready to shoot the RT. We'll have to see if someone managed to get a snipe. Doesn't look like Sally. Not opening the gate either. Oh, oh. Uh, Not even a bait. <laughs> yeah, but we do see a lot of these units going to the walls and they're definitely climbing. Yeah, scaling the walls. Holy. They're trying to climb, but uh, yeah, definitely they're, they're ready for it. They were kicking down the ladders. Definitely reacting really good with kicking off the ladders immediately. Yeah, exactly. That was well done. Yeah, there's definitely uh, still a little bit of artillery left. Just the one cannon on the far right side. Yeah, just the one cannon left. Both towers are still getting in. Uh, this one is full health on the middle. Pretty sure the left one is going to get in as well and the right one is also fine. So it does look like both towers will make it. Yep. All right, let's take a look at the units. Uh, still only the source for uh, Argonautas, Divinity on the defense, um, they might be having their units ready here. Uh, still a few pike militia, but mostly, uh, let's see, one unit of javelins for the bright show, two of them, four reapers, one Shenji, and two units of Mudao. So we'll have to see what the Argonautas switches to now that they've reached the gate and the siege towers are getting in in 20 to 30 seconds. Even gonna push the walls with all their grey units to be fair. What else would you do with it? Mm -hmm. I don't know, just switching it up already. 
Yeah, yeah, Those looks like it. Assets, Reapers. All right, they are going through the oh, gate right here. Uh, just hard committing, suiciding. This is interesting. All right, so they're pushing through with everything that they've got. SFs are here. There's also some spikes. Quick pike advance from both sides, though, by uh, Divinity. They're not wasting any time cleaning this up. Ape is being kept in the meantime, though. There was the Zikalian from the gate from Argonautas. Nice, nice burn, but there's nothing much to follow it up. Also, the X-ray is there. A meanwhile being kept freely by uh, one of the players from Argonautas. There we have Denorex. He's just capping it. Nice distraction. Good test from uh, Argonautas. Trying to see if Divinity were ready for it. Divinity. Good play with both Pike and Francis from both sides. Really cornered them. Yeah, that was pretty quickly. Maybe a bit too quickly though, because it wasn't there wasn't a major threat yet. So uh, it was fine for now, but. Sure. It does mean that if you fight advance too quickly, the calf can come in after after it, and then you won't have it ready. Good. So you don't want to waste all of your advances too quickly into the fight. Got one unit of Cicalians from Yanshiro on the walls. Looking forward to do to what those are going to do. Yeah. Nice deal blade was deal blade. Oh, another. Oh. He's getting a 2v2 here. Pesira here, just chilling it out. Definitely getting the kills there. Alright, trap flying in. Not hitting anything. Unit got out of the way quick enough. Alright, so Divinity set up at the gate. Also set up at the stairs. They're ready. Argonaut is getting ready to push down on one side. White says probably going with the ball of death strategy. Yeah, sure, this looks like it. There is a lot of blood on the ground already at the gate, though. The muskets are trying to shoot down. The Kali militia doing one throw, just one, just one, though. A lot of pikes ready here, some Madao, Reapers, a lot of Madao, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. Meanwhile, the, uh, they're starting to push down a little bit. Yeah, the gate is being covered. Uh, there is no calf out, though, so don't expect any calf to come through. Dow getting away from the gate. Yeah, yeah, the fight is going to happen on this right side stairs. Oh. But the sh if they take too long on Argonautas side, the Shenji are really doing work here. Nice pick up there on the kills. Cleaning up. Absolutely. Oh, got a nice black powder in there. Yep, more Sekali in fire, but only one unit of Modao. That's that is not going to die there. Nope. Definitely not. Alright. Argonaut is slowly moving down. Divinity, meanwhile, actually got a little flank on the left side, but they're back to the supply again. Another throw on there. Yeah, it's not doing much. And they're going down the yep, stairs. Yep, here we go, here we go. There is the fight. The Let's see where the pike defenses go, because that is where the fight will initially start at. Oh, there we go. Flamers on the Divinity side. Good Flamers. There we go. Pike Advance going in. This is a big fight. Flamers burning on the ground. Looks like Divinity has a pretty clear and good hold here. But Flamers are well protected. And here comes the Kef as well on the back. Meanwhile... Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, this is very, very clean. Uh, Argonauts was on the, on the left supply for a little bit. But it doesn't look like they get it. Now the question is again... Can the flamers survive? Can they get them ready for the next fight as well? The Divinity. One pike in the back trying oh. to get the flamers. Yeah, nope, he won't get it. Not this time. Yeah, and he's one. Ten heroes Not down there. One. There is oh, still. Is there are still two muskets trying to get the flamers though. And they just might be able to do it. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. All right, ten heroes that are down for Argonauta, so they have to get back quickly. Uh, no, all flamers are still alive. Seven of them still alive. Okay. Insanely good fight for uh, for Divinity. Yeah. Four hundred forty-five well units lost for uh, uh, for Argonautas. Although a lot of shirts were in there initially, of course. But Divinity definitely winning out on the first one. Argonautas getting ready inside. Cashy is coming through. Oh, that is some free Shenji if they get there. Yep, that is. Oh, yep, Tercio. They got him. Nice, well, good pick up there. Can they get him out as well though? Because they do need that Kashyyyk to get it back. Yeah, 
They got oh, them next as well. stuck on the wall. Oh, always lovely pathfinding. All right, so that was a good cashy charge. Just taking those terrestrials out there. Meanwhile, the right, right supply is getting kept for free. All right, so Definity decided to not defend the same location again. They couldn't make it in time. Did they do? Look like they're setting up for uh, for the B. For B point. Yep, B point. This is the first time we're seeing this. Yeah, indeed. Fortabaccio is in the back, really small. Don't see that a lot in uh, the normal sieges. Yep. Yeah, this is more the normal siege setup that we're seeing right now. Like the, yeah, the right indeed. supply for the attackers, the left supply for the defenders. And now we'll have to see if the attackers can circle around on uh, on the defenders yeah, it, and, and get the them from behind. Easiest trap to pull off. Yeah. As defender. The you defenders. Over B. Yep. The defenders still with the flamers. Also, of course, the gunners. Mostly a lot of Fortabraccio, a lot of Modal. And a lot on, of Reapers as well. Yeah, Reapers as well. On the attackers, uh, a lot of Cav this time. Three units of Cav, also the flamers. And uh, Modal. Oh, yeah, but definitely also quite a bit of green there. That is surprising. Yeah, two units of green. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like uh, at least two or three heroes have been. Taking too many losses. Alright, they are circling around. They're getting up, picking up some kills in the back. Four or five heroes from uh, Argonautas. Getting the free kills there. So that creates an opening, Quarman but they need to act on it quickly now. Quarman now getting owned with Razia with it. Oh. Yeah, alright, they're moving in here. Let's set up. We're beginning. Yep, we're going in. Yep, right. there goes the pike advance. And there goes the Zikali militia from the attackers. Modao getting in. There comes the calf. Ooh, with a bit early, maybe. Although, ooh, just in well, time, please. Grace. There goes the flamers for the defenders. Nice cleanup, it looks like. Yep. Where is the calf from Argonautas? Yep. They need to come in quickly, but I believe they've run out of steam here. For the Russia still hiding, still defending the back. Trap coming in, but the uh, Infinity is pushing out now. The trap is way too late. A good trap though, but late. Yep, looks like it is over before it even started. Oh. Divinity not even taking the one hero loss there. Cleaning up quickly. Well done. Meanwhile, Argonautas have taken the left. Uh, Supply, but what can I do with it? Lanskness and Reapers here trying to fight off the Modal. More Reapers coming in. One squad of Armigus, I believe. That's no. a quick cleanup. Those are cataphracts. Those so are cataphracts, but they gotta run away because this is not a fight you can win there. Nope. Not right. with your charging cooldown. Let's see if Argonauts can make it back on the field now. They are coming in from the right side of the B point. Uh, Divinity is not totally ready for this for this time. So if they can get on the point quick enough and actually use the traps, they might be able to get a good trade here. Why not? Why not? Get on it. Get on it. Still 11 traps used. They gotta throw in the traps. There it is. That's one. They need that to keep trap, throwing yes. those traps. Oh, fighting. nice hit! Yeah, that was good. Lovely. All right, they need more now. Three, three minutes left, only on the clock, and they need to get the B point still. On the left side for the supply, they're definitely fighting hard. It looks like uh, are not so running there, but it's all about the B point now. So that's where the most of Divinity are. Are they gonna try to get them in the back with uh, with the supply? I believe. Yeah, Ooh, this might be looking good though. Arminger is coming Ooh. in on the left side for Argonautas, and there goes another unit of Cav. That's the Kashyyyk. With the flames. Very well yeah, done. They go B. They go B. Yep, looks like they do manage to get the B point here. Definitely nice. pushing out a bit too aggressive. Oh, the self trap though. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh. Ugh, not looking good. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That are on Earth. Uh, so still. Yeah, gotta play those well. Still 150 unit difference as more units are being picked up by Argonautas. They're trying to close the gap here. Kashyyyk's chasing it and they are pushing through here. Look at this, only five heroes alive for Divinity. This might be the chance for Argonautas. They are already on the final point. Traps are flying in, but uh, oof. This might be the chance. Divinity, like, where are they? Exactly, they've still got units left, but they need to get there fast. 
fast and right now this one pike unit coming in is it enough oh they got a nice trap on there probably with units getting in oh that's a spike militia only they need to get in the calf quick oh all right they are it looks like they are stabilizing for now there's plenty of heroes now there's the flamers though doing the work they need to guard those flamers those flamers can make a difference here also flamers from Divinity. Oh, it's looking good for Divinity now. They're starting to push back in. Oh, good trap though. Not yep, hitting the flamers yet. Gaff in the back. Oh, Armigers. Oh, oh, there we go. Those cool. Armigers. They were yeah, really good like for Morganatus. Pikes on the point. Another trap going to come in. Argonauts are cleaning up. Ooh, with that. It's nope. Oh, why, why the why the trap is on the road? <laughs> Watch out, people. That hurt. Only four of Divinity alive. <laughs> Great. And everyone on the point is just getting massacred. Oh. Oh, it's that was it. Well played by Argonaut. Here we go. Argonaut is taking the first game. Tables. Well played. Well played. Looked like Divinity were doing quite well at the start, but uh, didn't make it. If he has me taking the MVP here. And uh, it's Drowse with the 111 on the unit kills. Taking not even the most, it's Zeus on Divinity side with 150. But the MVP for Divinity, GDG Occam. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, post battle analysis. A lot and a lot of units killed, that is for sure. Hero deaths were actually in favor of Divinity, but you could see the hero deaths that mattered were in favor of Argonautas because they clearly were able to like drive it home after they uh, they cleared the B point finally. Well Very done, good. well done. Yeah. Well played, well played.